Hi Gira guys, it's Alex here from Dira Designs. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Joomla in your localhost. Uh, to be able to do that, of course, you need to have installed in your computer something like Xsimp, which is a um, uh, local server in your machine. So I'm, I'm not gonna be showing you how to install that, but um, if you want to um, know how to do that, you can watch one of my other videos or you can go to the XM website and follow the tutorial. So as you can see, they have uh, four different versions. And the one I'm going to be doing, um, working with is the Mac version. So if you go here, you can see that you can download it and then they have a whole step-by-step -step installation process that you can follow. So um, next thing, um, is to download the Joomla package. So just go to joomla.org and click on download on the home page and that should take you to the downloads page. Download the latest version that is recommended for most websites and not the one that's recommended for developers because um, that's a development of course so I wanted to work with a stable version. So download that, I have already downloaded. So um, under my downloads folder, I should have a Joomla 2.5, there it is, package. Um, I'm gonna double click the zip file to unzip it. And I should get a new folder above it. And what I wanted to do is to copy all those folders and files inside uh, this folder. So. I copied it and what I want to do now is to go to my htdocs folder which you can find under your applications xamp htdocs inside inside that I wanted to create a new folder and I'm gonna call it my portfolio because that's what I'm making I make my portfolio and that's how I'm gonna call my folder and I'm gonna paste all my files that I copied before inside it. While it, it is copying and then the uh, next thing I need to do is to go to my localhost PHP my admin and create a new database for my website and I'm gonna name it the same name I gave my folder, my portfolio. Hit create and as you can see my database, my portfolio has been created and it is here under my list. So um, now let's go back to my htdocs and right click on my portfolio folder and get info. What I wanna do here is just make sure all the folders inside my portfolio can be written on. So as you can see here, under permissions, admin and everyone can only read the file inside my folder so um, and I need to be able to write because the installation process of Joomla needs to be able to write the configuration PHP file inside my portfolio so to do that I will unlock it and I'm gonna change my admin rights to written write and so to everyone else just to make sure for this exercise and under the setting buttons here, I want to make sure that I apply my settings to all enclosed items. Um, hit OK. So now we should be set to go. So if we go to our local host and refresh the page, I should get a link to my portfolio website. So if I click on that link, it will take me to the installation process. The first page is to choose your language, which is English for me. Next page you can just skip, and so the third one. On the fourth page, database, here is where you create, or you link your website to the database you created. So under the username, I wanted to type root, leave the, pass the password blank for now, and the database, you enter the name of the database you have just created. Hit next. That should take just a few moments. Um, and the next 
screen is the configuration screen. That's what we're going to choose. Um, no, sorry, the next screen we can actually just skip. And this one here is the way we can choose our site name, which is going to be Alex Portfolio. Yes. We went to my email address. Um, I will choose a admin username. That's the username you're going to be using to log in into your administrator site. So make sure you remember that. And also password. It's really important to install the sample data if you want to see um, the sample uh, that comes with the Joomla package. Uh, I strongly recommend you to do that if um, you are new to Joomla, if you are experienced, so you shouldn't even be watching this video anyway. But anyway, let's install the sample data. As you can see, it's finished, so I'll hit next. And here is where um, we remove the installation folder so we can uh, see the site. So if you did everything right and you hit this, the installation folder successfully removed and if I hit the administrator button at the top here I should get the uh, administrator login page type it in your username that you created just before and the password and hit login and that will take you to the back end of Joomla to see the front end of your website you just hit this link here to view site and that will show you the site exactly how you install with the simple data so from here, I'm going to stop now and I'll um, show you how to edit this site in the next videos. So thanks for watching and I hope you liked it.